Good afternoon. I'm Kara Marson. And I'm Mike Brooks. Here are your trending stories in green country. The start of the new school year for college students can be especially dangerous. Research shows more than half of college sexual assaults happen at the start of the school year through November. And experts with the Rape, Abuse and Incest National Network say students in the first and second semesters are most at risk. And a barrier is the fear of not being believed. Now the organization wants people to know it's not just victims who need to act. After a test run, Target is taking its drive-up service nationwide. It allows customers to bring their online orders brought out to their cars. This week, nine more states will get the service. It's already available here in Tulsa. The goal is for purchases made through the Target app to be delivered within two minutes of you pulling into Target's parking lot. And happening today, Tulsa's McKinley Elementary School is holding a special program to teach students and their families a valuable lesson. It's called Animals and People. Families will work with emotional support animals to learn about the benefits they provide and how to be a responsible pet owner. The school will be giving away books to the students while the event is going on. It all starts tonight at 5. And Walmart's kicking off what it calls the nation's largest car seat recycling effort next month. Customers will be able to trade in used car seats at the service desk at more than 4,000 Walmart stores across the country for a $30 gift card. Several Walmarts in Green Country are participating on September 16th. The car seats collected will be recycled through the company TerraCycle, keeping all the components out of landfills. Certainly hot today with the heat index now in Tulsa, 102, 100 in Pryor, 100 in Bristow, and the same there around Poto, Stigler, and also in McAllister. Live now on dual Doppler radar for late this afternoon. Quiet conditions for southeast Kansas and eastern Oklahoma, but that's really going to change up by tomorrow morning and especially for early in the afternoon. Flash flood watch issued by the National Weather Service starting with tomorrow morning, carrying us all the way through the early afternoon hours. You can see on future track clouds and precipitation. The next storm system is moving in by early tomorrow morning. First off in southeast Kansas, spreading to the south and southeast. It looks like a very wet morning for us. Things will start to lessen up a little bit in intensity and coverage for the afternoon, but still that chance out there. So it looks like a fairly wet morning for your Friday. Back over to you guys. All right, so thank you. Keep up with the uh, day's news on our app and our website. And look for live coverage during our regular newscast at 5 and 6 tonight. We're going to bring you another update right here at 630.